Hey guys, what's up? We're back. This time we're looking at the formulas that surround parabolas. So just to give you a little bit of an idea that the best way to get through conic sections is to take good notes. So you take really good notes so that when you're doing your homework, you can look over each, each set of equations and formulas and you don't have to recall them. Okay, if we take a look at this one, this is the equation for a vertical parabola like you find in your book. And here's an example of a vertical parabola. And remember that one of the, the cool things about parabolas is that this special uh, point called the focus, which is right here, is equal distance away from this special line underneath it called the directrix. Here's the directrix, here's the focus, and here's the vertex. I'll just write V for vertex. And one of the neat properties is that if I draw a line from the focus to the edge and back down again, these two lines should be equidistant. Now, they don't look equidistant, or excuse me, not equidistant. They're, they're both equidistant from the parabola, which means that they're congruent. So they don't look at right here just because I can't draw straight. Okay, so now you know. So hopefully you wrote down the vertical formula. What I want you to notice here is that in the vertical one, which goes up and down, we see that x is the quadratic term, which is what we're used to, especially in this, the most basic parabolic formula, which is y equals x squared, which is what we started with. So now look at the horizontal. Quickly you'll realize that one of the things that's changed is now that instead of x being squared, y is being squared, and as you notice in this most basic form, it's not y equals x squared, but x equals y squared. So it ends up shifting the orientation of the parabola from vertical to horizontal or left and right. But what I do want you to notice is here on the horizontal, the vertex is h comma k. We're going back to the vertical. The vertical is also h comma k. And in the vertical parabola like this one, how would you make a point down? Well, yeah, you'd put that negative sign in there somewhere. And you notice this one, the orientation of this one is opening to the right, which is where x is positive. And how do you think you would make this one uh, point to the left or flip? You would also put that negative sign in there somewhere. So just keep that in mind. That negative sign has the effect of flipping the parabola around, uh, around its vertex, OK? And we've talked about that a lot before. <clears throat> so here's an example. y squared is equal to 12x. Now what I want you to notice before we, we attack this problem, let me give you uh, three questions that you need to answer. Okay, so we're back. So the three questions that you need to answer. The first question that you need to answer is, is it going to be horizontal or is it going to be vertical? And if you notice when we were doing these problems, the, the vertical or the up-down had x squared. The horizontal or the left-right had y that was the quadratic term. So that's a, a quick way to check. The second piece that you need to answer is where is the vertex? And we've also talked about the vertex before, especially when we first studied parabolas, and that's still h comma k. And then finally, the last one that we're looking at is, we'll just talk about um, oy, p. So what is p? Well, let me tell you that p is just the distance from the focus, from the vertex to the focus. But I'll just make this little caveat in there that in this distance, we'll provide some directionality to it. So for example, if we look at this graph, let's take a look at, uh, at this parabola. If the parabola's focus is right here, then the distance from here down is P. And we'll call that positive because it's moving in the positive direction from the vertex to the focus. 
However, if we change this up, and if this is our parabola, here's the focus. From the vertex to the focus now is sort of in a negative or down or negative direction. So we'll say that F, or excuse me, P, my value P, uh, the distance from the vertex to the focus has some directionality. Now it's negative. Okay, so moving back to this one, we'll just answer a couple questions real quick. We see that it's y squared. So since it's y squared, it's going to be horizontal. And we also know that it would look like this, that this is the general form. And if we notice that 4p is the coefficient of x, just like 12 is, so that must mean that 4p is equal to 12. So that tells us that p must be equal to 3. So I know that p equals 3, it's horizontal, and as you can tell here, I don't have any h or k values, so my vertex is going to be 0, comma 0. So let's graph that one really quick. Oy. So I've got vertex at 0, comma 0. I know that this is going to be horizontal, and it's going to be a P of 3. And that's important now, because I don't really need to know whether this opens left or right. That's going to uh, be told to me by the focus. So we got my vertex here at the origin. Now since P is 3, that's positive. It means I go in a positive direction, 3 units, but in a horizontal way. Okay, So I don't go positive up. I'm going to go positive to the right three units. Here's the vertex. Here's my focus. I go to the right three units because this opens up horizontally. So just a quick sketch of this parabola is going to look like this. Well, don't forget the directrix. If this distance is three units, then I also have the directrix, which is another three units away. And it's going to look like that. So that's how easy it was. It's just kind of a quick sketch. I was able to find P pretty easily. I know which way it opened because of the formula. So I'm good to go. So now we'll look at the next one. In this one, it looks a little bit different because this time Y is not being squared, but X is. So that's going to tell me that this is a, a vertical opening parabola, vertically oriented parabola. I also know that the vertex is at 0, 0 because I don't have any h or k values. And I also notice that 4p must be equal to negative 6. And that means that p must be equal to negative 6 over 4 or negative 3 over 2. So I can say that p is negative 1 and a half. So if I go to graph this, I got P is negative one and a half. I got my vertex at zero comma zero. And then finally I've got that this is a vertically oriented parabola. So we'll just graph uh, vertex first. And then this is vertical, so it means up down. But the negative value of P means I'm going to go in a vertical negative direction, which is down one and a half units. So here's vertex, here's focus. Quick sketch of the parabola looks like that. That's a really bad sketch, but you get the picture. And then you notice that if this is one and a half, then the directrix will also be one and a half units, but in the opposite direction. And I'll put my directrix in here. So that's it. Pretty simple, not too bad. 